Yo, what's up? Santa here. I know I'm attempting to grow a mustache. Give me a break. But <laughs> that's not the point of this video. Today, I want to share with you a really cool tip for whenever you have information like this in Obsidian, right? So I have some headings and some bullet points. We have Star Wars films. And of course, maybe let's say you have a friend that's asking you what's the best way to watch Star Wars in what order. So of course you have an opinion on that. So you're gonna recommend to start with the classics. And you just want to rearrange this nicely, you know? And the thing is that in Obsidian, it's, it's not intuitive how you do that, you know? How you actually rearrange bullet points and headings in this way. Uh, one of the most common ways is the Microsoft method, which is cut and paste which is actually the reason why I'm making this video. Doug, a viewer from the channel, he actually asked me like, how do you how do you reorganize things in, in Obsidian that is not the cut and paste method, you know? Because this gets annoying, look at that. Like if you paste it there, you mess it up. So you need to make sure that you make a double space for that. So it's really annoying. I really, I really don't like doing things this way. So in this video, I'm gonna recommend a couple of better ways. Now I'm gonna start from the easiest to the bit more advanced and the best ways that I know. And we might not cover it all because my favorite method would actually be using Vim mode, which I made a video about it in case you want to check it out here. Uh, but I definitely want to make more learning resources for Vim in Obsidian. Either way, if you don't know what that is, just ignore that. One of the first methods that we're gonna cover is actually collapsing things like this by using this toggle. Now, if you don't see that toggle, you can go to settings, editor, and then you scroll down until you find these two toggles, fold heading and fold indent, right? That should allow you to fold things like that. Now, this method is still pretty much the Microsoft Word method, but you select the whole thing, then you press enter twice, which is really annoying. And now you can paste that. You see, it's still clunky, yet, like you need to copy it like that and then paste it there and it expands, which I don't love. And if you plan to use this method, make sure that you're selecting these three dots in there. Because if you don't, let me actually show you what happens if you don't, if you start the selection from here and you cut and you paste in there, you can see that there's no toggle. The toggle was left behind in here with all the information. So you don't want that. I'm going to undo that. That's not what we want. <laughs> I know it's kind of confusing. What you actually want is to actually start the selection from all the way here. Even if it doesn't quite select it, just trust that it is. And then when you cut, you have to press enter and then you paste. But sometimes that expands everything that expands the previous heading. And I just don't love this method. So I'm going to teach you the next one. But that is kind of like the easiest way. So I, I thought I would include it. Now let's expand all of this and let me show you the next method. So we're actually going to make use of the commands in Obsidian. We open the command palette with control P or command P, depending on who you are. And we're going to search for move line up and move line down, right? But of course, you don't want to be typing this every time you want to move. It's actually a really bad idea. So definitely add a shortcut in here. If you don't know how to add a shortcut, just go to settings, hotkey, and then search for what you want. I'm just going to remove this one to show you. If it's blank, you just click in here and you click the buttons, the buttons, the keys that you want to use, right? So there you have it. Now, whenever your cursor is on a specific line, like it is right here right now, what I can do is I can use my shortcut, in my case, Alt down. But look what happens. It only takes the heading, not the content underneath the heading, which is, of course, not what we want because that's a mess. I mean, it might be handy sometimes, but it's really, really confusing and annoying. So yeah, what we need to do is actually select everything that you want to move, right? So the heading and the bullet points, and now you can move it down, right? And that works because then we can just go like that. And that reorganizes anything that you want very nicely. Still not perfect, still kind of clunky, but it works. And is one of the best methods that I would recommend. There you have it, right? Now, next method, we start getting into a bit more advanced stuff, nothing too crazy, but what we're gonna do is actually, instead of using headings, we're gonna use bullets and tabs to indent things. You know, I'm just gonna make this ball to make it nicer, but you do it like this, right? So I just make a bullet point out of all the main headings. I'm just gonna make it bold to make it look better and then tap all of these ones like that. You get the idea, right? Let me just fast forward through this. Now, here's where I need to start paying my bills, paying for the electricity to make this video and let you know that I have an online course on Obsidian and I actually talk about what is it that I'm using here, which is the Outliner Community Plugin, which is incredible. I have a section on my course right here. You will see Obsidian as an outliner where I teach you how to install the plugin, how to use Obsidian as a bit of an outliner. Even though it's not an outliner, it does work with that plugin really well. And that is what I'm using right now. So just know that I'm using the plugin called Outliner here in Community Plugins. Outliner, this one right here. So that is what is installed. And I customize a bit of the options in there. Now that shortcut has something really cool in the command palette. If you search for Outliner Move List, then you can assign shortcuts for moving a whole list and a sub list up or down. So that way with the shortcut that I have, I can move things way easier like that, right? So I can just use the shortcut 
and I can just rearrange and this is perfect because you can also collapse things and you can make use of that shortcut which is great which is something you cannot do with the other default one you know so that's pretty cool I like that a lot so yeah, if you want to learn to use the outliner better definitely check out my course that would help but also if you do realize that you like organize information in, in an outliner. Personally, I love doing that. I think maybe Obsidian might not be the best tool for just doing that all of the time. So instead, what I use is Luxic, which you might be familiar with. I have a video on why I use both, but I personally think that's the best way to go, especially when you want to do things like this. So this is actually the exact same file because I link Obsidian and Luxic together. Again, there's my Luxic course that teaches you how to do that and that's how I use it. But what's cool about Luxic is that it's really made as an outliner, so you can just have all of these, you can collapse things, and you can even use the mouse to move things around, which is nice. Or of course, if you prefer shortcuts like me, you can still use shortcuts while this is all expanded, while it's all collapsed, like it doesn't really matter. Like Luxic will just deal with it and there's zero issues. You can of course just move individual bullet points and it just works, it just works incredible. Like if you like outliners and you like being able to even maybe zoom into information like that, uh, Luxic is the app that you need. You can always use it side by side with Obsidian. It's a bit tricky, it's not perfect. I do teach that in my in my Luxic course. Or you can use both apps separately and know when you want to use one or the other. But yeah, doing this in, in Luxic is to me a much better experience. So freaking easy <laughs> and I just love it. And because Luxic is reading my Obsidian file, any changes that I do that it worked, right? Let's go to Luxic. There it is. So yeah, that's pretty nice. There we have it. Those are the tips that I have for you. I'll leave the link to both of my courses. I almost said downstairs, but <laughs> in the description. So yeah, definitely check it out. It does help me support this channel and keep things going, making videos like this and so much more. So I really do appreciate it. And with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Okay, stop looking at my mustache. It's making me self-conscious. Hopefully it'll grow better. See ya. <laughs>